Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new. I'm Tamaris and today we're going to be, well obviously I'm voicing it over, but I actually ended up renovating my current household's house. Yeah. It on I think, I believe it took me like an hour and 60 minutes to do this, but like it doesn't matter, but um, I, it feels weird because I'm recording this and like there's a really weird echo because like i don't know it's just weird and it's weird like hearing myself talk through my microphone i don't know it's just kind of awkward but i did say and mention in the um the last video that i posted that there would be a um a voice not a voiceover but like kind of like a renovation that i wanted to post of their house and if you guys didn't watch that episode, which you guys should totally do, but um, I basically said I was tired of like, you know, seeing the same rundown house every day I would load into the game. And it was just so annoying because the house had like a bunch of cracks in the walls and termite holes. And it was just like, it was really bad. And I was honestly just kind of looking for a change of scenery. I was kind of going for like a darker maybe style look i don't know but like i hope you guys like it because i felt honestly like really chill when i was doing it you know what i mean like i don't know i just felt like i don't know how to explain it like because i kind of went for a darker style darker theme and i honestly the only like real light light that i use like that's like you know like the subtle saucer thing is like the living room like everything everywhere else either is just like n either na a natural light queen or i just use a lot of candles like for example in the bathroom i use a bunch of candles you know not like a bunch but like i felt like i only needed to use two for them for there to be like a nice like ambiance kind of sort of thing i think I don't know, the house in general is just kind of really a bunch of like chill vibes, I guess. Like that's kind of what I was starting to feel. I was like, okay, I'm kind of feeling this. I, I love this. And I just wanted, it's so weird like for me to be like doing, I guess, voiceovers because it feels so, I don't know, it, it feels like it, it's, it's very exposing, if that makes sense. Like I know I sound crazy right now, but like, I don't know, it just feels so weird, not weird, just like, ugh, you know, like, I feel like I can't mess up because everything is, like, in real time and lifetime, and really, I could, like, edit out stuff I don't want in there, you know, it's, like, really simple, but, like, for some reason, I just feel really scared and nervous whenever I do voiceover, which, it's so stupid, but, like, I don't know, that's just kind of, like, how I feel every time I'm about to, like, press record button because i'm kind of like okay this is it are you sure you want to do this are you sure you want to proceed i know it sounds like really freaking dramatic but like that's just kind of the process that goes through my head every time i do a voiceover which luckily i don't do many videos that need a voiceover because usually those are like the creative some videos or speed build which i think you and me both know that i am not a builder now hey hey i'll give myself some credit here okay I am a really, really good speed builder. I am, like, I'm not even gonna, you know, I'm not trying to toot my horn or anything, but I consider myself pretty dang good. J just saying. Just saying. And honestly, it's kind of, like, weird to record a voiceover, I guess, just because, like, I obviously I don't do it often, but I already said, you know, early in the, on in the video that, like, I feel, like, I guess stressed i don't know like before i do it because like i feel exposed obviously but like it is a lot easier to like you know just in terms of editing because like uh, but a lot of times i feel like i have to like compensate for things like the thumbnail which i hope you guys like but um you know i was, I was obviously trying to find a new style with the thumbnail but that's besides the point um i just feel like you know doing a I guess a voiceover is a lot easier than recording a 50 minute video, which, you know, granted it is, or I say less time consuming. I'd say in the beginning, like when I'm like doing maybe a creative sim, it's very chill because it's like, I don't have to worry about talking into a mic or like, you know, doing this, doing that. I could just like, I could listen to music. I could do what I need to do to get this sim done and looking cute. Okay. But like, 
you know, when I'm, obviously I like recording Let's Plays and stuff, like, I'm not saying I don't like to do that, but, like, I am saying that, you know, there are some pros, even though I feel nervous when doing voiceovers for my, um, creative sims or speed builds or anything, even though I feel a little nervous, it's like, well, it kind of is worth it because I got to be, like, really chill, you know, in the process of making the house or the sim, which, let's be honest, in most cases, for me at least, it's gonna be the sim. It's just a bit more of a chill process, you know? I'm like struggling to find things to talk about. Like I feel like I'm rambling at this point, but like I'm recording this now on Sunday. I hope you guys had a nice weekend wherever you guys are in the world. I expect most of you guys could be in America, but like some of you guys might be in England, maybe some other countries. I don't know, but hey. As long as y'all watching my videos, don't forget to sub and do what y'all need to do, like the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys liked the house, because I did. I did my fair share of work on it, okay? And the funny thing is, like, right before I was recording this voiceover, I was, like, having so many issues. I had to, like, look up a tutorial, because I was like, I just want to record a voiceover in DaVinci Resolve. That's, that's literally all I want to do. Like, why y'all give me such a hard time? Like hello and by the way guys i feel like premiere pro is overrated like i'm i'm going crazy at this point like it's so overrated because like i would rather use the free version which i am using now of davinci resolve than the full premiere pro i guess i don't i don't know 150 dollars a month it's some stupid crazy expensive like that like it's it's completely idiotic you know it's like why would you do that like literally why would you do that you guys probably noticed that like i was struggling to find a neon sign for her because the one neon sign i found for a recording room was pink and it's like um that's not the vibe can we not but i couldn't even i couldn't change the swatch on it also so I, I was like oh my gosh are you kidding me the only neon sign and it's like it's so cute like totally her style and they only have pink like no no so i actually went in game and changed the color like the lighting situation for it to be like white or like you know just a regular color so now let's change that and y'all actually will actually see it in the screenshots that i'll be posting in the end but i know the video is coming to an end guys i feel like i talked about a whole lot of nothing i was really wanting to talk about the house and the build but like for some reason that just didn't happen but i hope you guys enjoy the screenshots and i hope you guys enjoy the renovation because i i'm really am yeah, happy with what it turned out to be it feels very luxurious very them you know so Hope you guys enjoyed it this video don't forget to do what you need to do like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys